WGC World Match Play. Paul, what do you know about this tournament and what are you looking for? Um, we head to Texas and Austin, the what's it, Austin Country Club, a Pete Dye design yes. course. So uh, straight off the bat, form on Pete Dye courses would come in handy. It's a match play event. Mm, match play records are probably a good sort Pretty of pointer uh, towards how you may go here. Uh, what are they? I think there are four reachable par fives and two, and there's a drivable par four as well. So, uh, if you you can hit it off the tee a long, long way, um, you can really shorten this course big time um, and set yourself up. Uh, birdies are a must. Um, you, you basically win match play. Uh, uh, events or uh, actual games against uh, a player because you birdie more than they do. So birdie or better. Um, form on Bermuda Greens. That's what I'm looking for. Nice. Plenty there. Patrick, anything to add? Yeah, it's for me, it's going to be a strong sort of tournament form one. Look at the guys have done well here in the past. It's a pretty quirky course, even for Pete Dyer standards, Austin Country Club. So guys who do have a Good track record there. I'll be sort of naturally naturally leaning towards yeah. Pete form on other Pete Dye courses as well. Um, putting, especially current putting form, I think is pretty key. It seems like that's a key indicator. And then just guys who are playing pretty good golf in general. I think if you look at the past winners and guys have done well here, they might not have been winning tournaments. But you don't want guys who are coming in stone cold. Yep, agree with all of that. Um, I'm also looking pretty heavy at as you say recent form. I've dived into sort of the last three months um, when I'm looking at strokes gain data. What? No, love it. You sure? You've got a lot of rabbit holes. <laughs> I do have a lot of rabbit <laughs> holes. It's working though. I'm up $600. Uh, exactly. Um, strokes gain off the tee. As you said, Paul, a lot of opportunities off the tee. I think um, for the longer hitters for sure, even the shorter hitters though, uh, they sort of, the, the longer hitters come back to the field if they miss the fairway a bit here. Um, T to green, obviously, ball striking. So looking for approaches around the greens and birdies are better. Um, it's it's a hard one for betting. It's you look at the past winners and it's a real just as Patrick said before we went live. Um, you know, just throw a dart at a dartboard and see where it lands. Type deal. Um, Was with it that one said, of the sixteen top seeds made it out of the group last year? So it's not yeah. like yeah. I've got a couple more making it this year, but I've still got a few roughies pegged too. So we're going to go through, we'll do our um, our best, our mid-tier and our roughie for the outrights. Um, but then we will go through and do a bit of a bracket, a cut line bracket. We'll give our, our top group winners. Um, and if if we agree, they go through. If we don't agree, we'll, we'll flip a coin or, or fight or something. Um, then we'll get this this um bracket of ours up on on the tab socials and you can riff it to shreds if you like or uh give us or let the players some, do it themselves on thursday and friday yeah it'd be interesting to recap next week see how many we got um all righty so let's start then with our best and we'll start with the rookie, Patrick. Uh, my be best bet is Kevin Kisner. Pretty obvious why, I'd say. He's got the second best record of anyone in the field at Austin Country Club, 16, 6 and 1 in matches here. Made the final two of the last three editions of this tournament. Uh, three top tens this year, including a fourth of the players. So he's in form and goes well on Pete Dye tracks. Um, and fifth in strokes game putting for the season. And on the improve after a huge putting week at the Valspar, he was 10th prior to last week. So, yeah, I think that all sets up well for him. He's also had a bit of a whinge about not making the Ryder Cup team last year and was going on about politics and all that sort of stuff. So I think he'll be motivated to show that he's a good match pay player with the President's Cup team in mind this year. Very nice. Very nice. Love the kiss. Uh, Paul? I'm going to go with Scotty Scheffler at... I believe he's $17. $17. <laughs> oh, 
I feel we've got a wee bit of uh, cynicism here. I don't know. Tell me why. Uh, he was runner-up in this uh, last year. He's got a short match play record, but boy, is it impressive. Uh, I've got him five, one, and two in match play events. Um, you want some winning form? He comes in with a wee bit of winning form. Uh, the Phoenix Open and the Arnold Palmer. Uh, it's uh, not the worst. Uh, he he faded in the last round at the players, um, but once again, because of the way the tournament was run due to the weather, uh, I think you can put a line through uh, most players uh, and the way that they played at the players. Well, was it a week ago? A week ago? Yeah. Yeah, it Two seems like ago. it seems Two like a month ago. ago now. Yeah, um, he hits it. A, he can. He feeder can hit it off the tee, um, so he fits there. Um, but yeah, basically his match play form and his uh, form at Austin as well. Boom. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to back you up there with a few more stats because I'm also taking Scotty Scheffler at seventeen dollars. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if you failed to mention, but he was the runner up here last year. He lost to Billy Ho in the final. Uh, he in the last three months, you like this? He ranks seventh, uh, strokes gained TD green, 33rd off the tee, 10th in approach, seventh around the greens, eighth in putting. So he has the all round game. He's fifth on tour and birdie average this year, sixth in scoring average, and sixth birdie or better. Scotty Scheffler, love him at $17 this week. Uh, mid tier, Patrick. Yeah, same price as my best bet, my mid tier guy. But I'm going with uh, Austin's favourite son, Sergio Garcia. Also got an excellent record at Austin Country Club, twelve seven and one matches here. Was uh, good, relatively speaking, for the for a European at the Ryder Cup last year. Obviously, plenty of match play experience. Made it out of the group each of his last three. WGC match play appearances, uh, top forty in every appearance he's made this season, and good record at the Players and Heritage as well. With uh, two of his last three appearances, top twenty-two or better at the Players and a T five in the Heritage two years back. So enjoys Pete Dietrich, but yeah, it's mainly just the match play record and the experience he brings there that I think appeals to me. Very nice, Paul. Joaquin Neiman at I think he's thirty-four dollars. Hasn't moved. Yep, thirty-four dollars. Joaquin Neiman. Um, let's look at his. Uh, once again, another one uh, with a very, very short uh, match play record. He's one, one, and two. Um, but his uh, his stats line up very, very well. He's won this season at the Genesis. Uh, had a top six at the Farmers. The tournament before that. Uh, he is seventh strokes gained T to green, sixth strokes gained around the green, which I, I don't know if I mentioned, I think will be a key stat uh, this weekend, strokes gained around the green, um, and he's 37 stroke gained off the tee. So I do like the way that Joaquin Neiman um, fits in here, and uh, I've got him going quite a long way. Second best golf from the field over the last three months, this FYI. Um, You're not going. I'm not going. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Just got to back you up there with that one. Thank you. You can't putt though. Um, I was going to take Kevin Kisner. I really like Kiz uh, here this week, but for a little bit of variety, given we've already locked in uh, one double up, I'm going to take uh, Max Homer at forty-one dollars. Um, over the last three months, Max has been the thirteenth best golfer in the field. He's 18th, uh, Teddy Green, 10th off the tee, 13th approach and 18th in putting. 23rd on tour in birdie average and 25th birdie or better. Uh, his 2022 has started like this, T15, miscut, T14, T10, T17, T13. So he's there or thereabouts sniffing around. Uh, very good match play record on college. Uh, last year here at this tournament, he went 2-1. and one. Uh, did not progress because he lost in a uh, sudden death playoff to uh, Billy Horschel, who eventually mm. went on to win. On the third hole of the sudden death playoff as well. So. Yep. Um, 
so yeah, his record is his match play record is two and one. Um, but he so he's in the he's in a group with DJ, who is sort of, I guess, finding some form at the moment. Could be a problem. Um, Matt Wolf can't keep the ball on the planet, and uh, Mackenzie Hughes, who just not in good enough form for me. So yeah, I really like Max to win his group, and you know if he can get out of his group, it's 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 rethrow the dart, I guess. But forty one dollars for Max. Looks like a long, long shine, baby. Uh, Patrick, your roughie, please. Uh, so I really wanted it to be someone you just mentioned, Mackenzie Hughes there, but yeah, I just couldn't quite um, find the numbers to support my argument because the guy I did land on is someone who long-time listeners of the cut line will be very familiar with, and Eric Van Vorian. Oh. No, don't turn off right now but yeah there's not not a lot of guys in that sort of roughy tier he made it out of the group last year in his first appearance at the tournament and then lost to John Rahm in the round of 16 which you know I think is pretty understandable John Rahm good at golf he was 13th at the players and he's been 40th or better in four of his five tournaments this year so brings some form in he's got a pretty winnable group and then he would face Rahm again actually in the six round of 16 if they both made it out but there's a chance Rahm doesn't so I think at $100, $101 he's worth the proverbial dart throw as we say yeah, I don't have Ram making out of that group, so I also have Van Ruin. Uh, oh. In fact, I have him playing uh, another outsider in the round of 16, so um, it's a wee bit of a toss-up between those two. Um, I, I probably won't be backing him to win the tournament, but certainly to make it to uh, the quarterfinals, I do think he's a fairly good bet um, at odds. Oh, I didn't even see those markets. Semi-finals, quarterfinals. Mm. I have to readjust my staking plan on the fly here um but before i do that i am looking at an australian um australians have a very good record here australians have had a very good record to start the pga <laughs> they season do, yeah um jason day's won here twice ogilvy's won here twice um i'm looking at justin herbert justin Ah, uh, sorry, Lucas, Lucas <laughs> Herbert, Justin Herbert. <laughs> Who am I thinking of? San Diego Chargers. <laughs> wow, <Right>. Lucas. <laughs> I don't even know who I'm picking. How many picks are you giving up to get him, though? <laughs> sorry, I've, I've turned the page. Wow, we. Um, Lucas Herbert. Um, one recently in Bermuda was T seventy Arnold Palmer. Uh, was on the luckless side of the draw at the players. Got blown off the course. Uh, in his last three months, though months versus the field he's six strokes going around the green and third and putting both pretty key here um and another little nugget which i found his bounce back percentage uh so that bounce back is if you you know have a bogey or worse and then next, next hole, hole you make a birdie or better boom uh he is eighth on tour so at 30 percent which is pretty good given match plate doesn't really matter if you have a, a six or a 12, if you're playing partner has a three. So I, I might be clutching there, but I don't mind it. His group's pretty, um, where's it gone? He's got Xander yeah. and then no one else really knows. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's not probably the easiest, the easiest, one of the easiest groups, um, to, to get out of. So yeah, $101 Lucas Herbert for me. Not Justin. All right. Should we do our bracket? Bracket breaker. Mm-hmm. Um, now, this is just all sort of on the fly. Like I say, if we can't, if we don't have a unanimous decision, then we'll, we'll work it out. I'll start. I've got I've got Ram uh, Group 1. You guys don't? No. Who have you got? I've got Munoz. No, I've got yeah. Ram coming out of the group as well. Okay, Ram it is. Outvoted, wow. Hmm. Well, this is blue on blue doesn't work very well. Uh, and then we've got to go to group 16. We'll do, do it down the page in bracket order. Yep. Uh, I've got Brooks. I've got Van Ruin. Van Ruin. Okay, Van Ruin. Uh, group nine. I've got Gooch. Westwood. Westwood. Oh, gross. That whole group is gross. Like, no, no, it could, could 
could uh, talk talking to the bookies could very well change uh, prices there too. Well, if Deschambeau if, if doesn't, Deschambeau doesn't, yeah. So yep. back westward now at five bucks. Scratching supply and yep. health uh, Group eight, which is DJ Max, Wolf, and Hughes. I've got Homer. Paul? Same here. Uh, oh, I had DJ. Well, it doesn't matter. Homer it is. Oh. <laughs> Uh, group five, Scheffler, Fitzpatrick, Fleetwood, and Poulter. I'm guessing Paul and I have got Scheffler. Yep. So do I. Well, yeah, we've got First a, time. a unanimous. All right. He definitely doesn't make it then. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, group 12, Horschel, Peters, Hoagie, and Minwoo Lee. I've gone Horschel. Lee Ho. Yeah, same here. Yep. That would be sick. A, uh, a final rematch in the in the quarterfinals there. Scheffler versus Billy Ho. Uh, group 13, Hatton, Berger, Siwu, and Bezidenhut. I've gone Tyrrell. Angry man. Yeah, crazy Tyrell. Yeah. Nice. Uh, next one, group four, Cantlay, Sungjae, Seamus Power, Keith Mitchell. I have got Sungjae. Keith Mitchell. I've gone for the pride of Waterford, Seamus Power. Okay. I don't really know where to go from here. Do we have to spin the pen or something? <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, and you and I flip a coin. Hey, we're not back at high school now, big guy. <laughs> you and I flip a coin. Yep. When it goes through. Heads. It's a heads. So now I've got to flip a coin for me and Pat. When it goes through. You call Tails. it Pat. Tails. 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 So who you got? Seamus Power. Seamus. But I feel like the better way to go when we've got three different people would be to pick the one we don't have. But well, we could do that. No, nah, no, nah, we'll stick with Seamus. I won, so stick with Seamus. Canlay. The favourite. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, I, I saw Keith Mitchell tweet uh, a few days ago. He wondered if there could, could be a stat strokes gained restaurant scene because uh, he's very, very keen on a number of restaurants in Austin. <laughs> Um, and just wondered <laughs> if uh, the better the restaurant uh, in the town or city where they're playing, um, whether that has an effect on uh, whether there's a player who reacts positively to that. Yeah, right. Just figured out a better way to um, do it on the show. Keep track. I'll do it online. Uh, give me a second to catch up here. Yeah, um, you catch up. We'll go to the next yeah, one. Yeah, go next group. Uh, next group is Morikawa, Cockrack, Garcia, and McIntyre. Guessing you're going Garcia. Yeah, I've got Sergio. I I'm going also, Colin. I've got Garcia. Garcia it is. Uh, next one. Uh, next 15? group is Abraham Anta, Webb Simpson, Brian Harmon, Bubba Watson. I've gone Bubba. I've gone the, my favorite Mexican, Abraham. Yeah, I was tossing up between Bubba and Harmon, but since Carl's on Bubba, I'll join the, join the army. I really... As sick as it is, and um, anyone from my syndicate of friends listening, I really wanted to find a, a reason to pick Harmon this week because he's been playing some pretty good golf, but his match play record is not great. Where Other on tracks, he goes well on. You kind of have to just ride him, right? And he, he's got a yep. pretty good record here. Exactly. Uh, group 10. Uh, what have we got? Oosthuizen, Casey, Connors, Norrin. Ron Casey. I'm a Norrin. Casey. Casey it is. Uh, Next one, I think Shof, I know. Show Sh Felly. Uh, Tony Finau. Oh, so Herbert I'm and on, I'm on Carl's Ruffy Herbert here. So. Me too. Oh, well. Who do you have? Just Sorry, Xander. Interest? Sorry, <laughs> Xander. Next one, I can already tell you who's going through. Uh, JT, Kevin Kisner, Mark Leishman, Luke List. I had Leishman. He doesn't get through. We both had Kev, yep. but yes. Kev. Next one. Interesting uh, one, this one. Spieth, Scott, Rose, or Bradley. This is, what group is this? Group 11. I've gone Spieth. I've gone Spieth. Same. Spieth, hook him. Here we go. Uh then we've got Neiman, Nah, Henley, McNeely. Group 14, I've gone Joaquin Neiman. I've gone Joaquin. Yep, straight. I'm on Neiman too. In the final group, group three. 
uh, Hovlin, Zelatoris, Tringali, Straka. Real one, uh, uh, Hovlin and Straka competing for their country. Then the same. No, Straka's. Um, He's Austrian. Forgive me. Forgive me. Sorry. I was wondering where you were going. Yeah, with nah, that. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm on Hovland. I'm on set. Yeah, me too. Hovland. You need to be able who to ship on, here. Who are you on, Pat? Set. Hovland is so bad at chipping. <laughs> yeah. So bad at chipping. But I suppose it doesn't matter if he has five horror chipping holes if he is birding the others. So maybe it's exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But yes, very bad at chipping, Victor Hoblin. All right, let's. Um, we might as well do the rest of this, eh? Ram versus Van Royen. I'm going Van Royen. I'm going to go Ram. Yeah, I'm going Ram. Ram goes through. Gooch versus Homer. Very good friends, Gooch and Homer. Mm. I'm going Homer. Homer, Max. Nice. Not that I had either of them. Scheffler versus Billy Ho. Scheffler. 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 Uh, Hatton versus Power. We've got Hatton. 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 It's unanimous so far. Mm. Uh, Garcia versus Bubba. Sergio. Sergio. Garcia. Casey versus Herbert. Casey. Herbert. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll go Casey. Yeah. Even though Herb is my roughie, I've also got, I do like Casey this week too. Uh, Kisner versus Spieth. Kisner for me. Yeah, Kisner. Spieth. Doesn't matter, big guy. <laughs> uh, Neiman versus Hovland. Joaquin. Joaquin. Hovland. Doesn't matter. All righty, we're uh, we're into the quarterfinals. Ram versus Homer. I'm on Max. Yeah, I think Max too. Ram is Ram can't win. He just doesn't win. Well, for someone who doesn't win, you've put him through uh, a few bloody uh, wins. No, I mean win tournaments. Right. I guess you're going Ram. Yeah. Yeah. Tough scenes. Scheffler v Hatton. Scheffler for me. Scheffler. Yeah, I'm on Terrell, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Garcia versus Casey, a true Ryder Cup uh, teammate battle here with both incredible match play records. I'm going Casey. I'm on Sergio. Casey. And uh, Kisner versus Neiman. I will go Kisner. Neiman. Kisner. Woo! E. Semi-finals. Max versus Scotty Scheffler. 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 Max. Uh, Casey versus Kisner. Casey. Kisner. Mm. Probably Kisner. Yeah, and then uh, third place match, Homer versus Casey. I'll go Homer. That's the exact sort of match Casey wins when there's nothing on the line. Yeah, probably. Paul? Who have we got? Max versus Casey. Casey. Who are you taking, Pat? Casey. Casey. Yeah. I can be twisted. Uh, and the championship match, Scheffler versus Kisner. I've got Scheffler. I had Scheffler going runner up on my bracket, but not against. He's your he's your best bet, but he's going runner up. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Runner up Jim to losing. Uh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Who was Neiman? Neiman. Yeah. So I'll go Scheffler, seeing as you won't let me put Neiman in there. I had Kisner beating Terrell Hatton in the championship game in my bracket, but it doesn't matter because you're both voted for Scotty. I haven't done a bracket, so. But I had Scheffler as my best, so he's come out on top. There we go. Scotty Scheffler, the champion over Kevin Kisner. Uh, very nice. A lot of fun there. We're running out of time, so let's get to some betting. We are a betting podcast after all. Um, Patrick, you've got $100 to spend this week. What are you doing with it? All right. I've actually written them down this time, so I'm not going to get 
confused with staking halfway through. Five dollars each on Kisner and Sergio to win at forty-one dollars. Six dollars on each of them to make the final at twenty-six dollars. Then ten dollars each on Terrell Haddon, Max Homer, Kevin Kisner, and Sergio Garcia to make the semis at ten, eleven, and twelve and twelve respectively. And then I'm using the rest of my money on a, a boxed multi. Any four of the following to win their groups out of Sergio Garcia, Scotty Scheffler, Kevin Kisner, Alex Noren. Jordan Spieth, Terrell Hatton, and Joaquin Neiman. It's so 35 bets at a dollar eight each, and then the last 20 cents just on all seven from that group. Sick. That is uh, the first time we've ever, ever had a box multi on the cut line, I believe. Not really a sport um, that lends itself to box multis, usually, unfortunately. But That is wild. Yeah. Um, Paul, where are you going with your $100? Crazy. Um, <laughs> right. I'm going uh, Scheffler. Uh, $10 to win at 17 uh, Scheffler, $10 to make uh, the semis at 750 I'm going Neiman, $10 to win at 34 uh, Neiman, $10 to win uh, the semi, or make the semis at $10. And $20 on Neiman to win Group 14 at $3. And then I'm going $20 on Van Ruin to make the quarters at 750 and twenty dollars on Van Royen to win Group Sixteen at three seventy-five. Nice. Uh, I missed the uh, the quarterfinals and semi markets, but I'll stick with what I've got because I'll be having plenty more bets than what's written down here. But I'm going to go ten on Sheffield to win at seventeens, ten on Sheffield to reach the final at thirteens. Then I've also got ten on both uh, Hatton and Homer to reach the final at seventeens and twenty sixes. Interesting to note that those three are all on the same side of the draw. So I'm, well, I'm kind of hedging here. We've got, we've got a chance. Yeah, yeah. Unintentionally hedging. Well. Um, 20 on Ram to win group one at 225. 10 on Kisner to win group six at fours. 10 on Kepka to win group 16 at threes. And then two uh, first round three ball multi or three leg multis, I should say. Uh, Spieth, JT, and Kisner to win their matches at 584. So 10 their, on their first round matches. Yep. At 584. Uh, and then $10 on Casey, Horschel, and Scheffler to also win their first round matches at $5.50. And that's me. Plenty, that, as, as we mentioned at the start of the podcast. This is the probably the best golf betting tournament of the season. Um, yeah, better than the Ryder Cup because there's so many more matches. Yeah. And we've got all 32 up for the first round. Uh, I believe once they are complete, day two or round two's uh, matches will be up and available. So, of course, you can, you can halve your group matches. You can. But once you get through to the next round, they must find a winner. It's going to be wild. And it all starts uh, tonight or early tomorrow morning, Thursday. Early start. So get your bets on. If you're listening to this on Friday, you've already missed the jump.